Welcome to Slaughterhouse Stories. I hope you enjoy the story I have for you tonight. Easter Day was a holiday of all days of the year, and all the little schoolfellows went out to play, but Sir William was not there. Mama went to the school wife house and knocked at the ring, saying, Little Sir William, if you were there, pray let your mother in. The school wife opened the door and said, He is not here today. He is with the little schoolfellows on the green, playing some pretty play. Mama went to the boiling water that is so deep and wide, that is so wide and deep, saying, Little Sir William, if you were there, oh, pity your mother's, oh, pity your mother's weep. How can I pity your weep, mother, and I so long in pain, for the little penknife sticks close to my heart, and the school wife hath me slain. Go home, go home, my mother dear, and prepare my winding sheet, for tomorrow morning before eight o'clock, you with my body shall meet, and lay my prayer book at my head, and my grammar at my feet, that all the little schoolfellows as they pass by may read them for my sake. Dawn, call it red. Wake up, my love. Open your eyes and look up, above. Open your eyes wide. The sun is about to rise. Look attentively, my dear. Focus your eyes on the beautifully colored skies. Let's bask in the celestial menagerie of this dawn, entwined in each other right here. Promise me, Swear upon our love that you'll never leave my side. My sweetheart, you are turning so cold. Please look me in the eye. I cannot lie. Forgive me, but I cannot maintain my hold. I can no longer allow you to fly. I am fearful for your life when you chase the caressing of the wind. There's no promise of safety in these second-hand wings. I cannot comprehend your airborne dreams. What if you reach too close to the sun and your wings turn undone? How will I live if you end up like Icarus and plunge yourself into the sea? My dear, please listen to me. I'm sorry, but you've ignored me just like you've done before. Why must I live in a perpetual fear? You might die. I cannot handle this feeling anymore. I had to find out what made you so in love with your mistress, the distant sky. Your ceaseless obsession with the cold touches of the wind. It drove me to my wit's end, gnawed at my mind. It ate away at my mental maze like a ravenous fiend. Finding an answer to your love of this other was the only way I could unwind. I wanted to find. How did she take hold of your mind? How she made you fly? I needed to know what drew you to the sky. I dug deep down inside. I've clawed, searching far and wide. Under your skin, your secret remains hidden somewhere within. I am unable to understand why with the heavens you are so smitten. Are you listening to me, my love? You haven't uttered a sound. Please forgive my distrust. While we witness the rise of the sun, my dear, you become awfully cold. I can't help but smile, knowing you'll never ascend again from the ground. I will remain at your side. I promise I'll never be gone. Look, my love. Night is giving way to a dawn-colored red, the same crimson color as your barely beating heart, whose tears have created stark contrast while staining my hand. That's it for tonight's story, but before we end things, check out the Slaughterhouse Stories podcast, available at all your favorite podcast sites, so download and subscribe, be a listener, not a victim, and as always, thank you for listening. If you enjoyed tonight's story, please like, share, and subscribe, and until next time, stay spooky.